Imagine a world where surgeons operate remotely using 5G. Smart cities running millions of IoT devices and factories are controlled by AI at the edge. Now imagine all of that crashing down because of a security breach. 5G isn't just faster internet, it's the backbone of our future. But with great power comes greater responsibility. Today, we are diving deep into the world of 5G security, logging and monitoring. Let's make our future secure. Hey everyone, my name is Taha Sajid. Today, I'll share some real world use cases, architecture patterns of logging with easy to digest examples, and all of this I'll try to wrap up in five to six minutes. 5G networks are complex beasts with new security challenges. That's where robust logging and monitoring comes in. 5G can be deployed in hybrid cloud environments. Let's talk architecture for both private and public cloud environments. Okay. On the left hand side is our private cloud and on the right hand side is the public cloud. Okay. And make sure consistency is key across environments. Okay. Now, if you look at the private cloud, we have network function virtualization, which is NFP. We have software defined networking, which is SDN controller. We have core network elements and we have radio access network. Okay. Now, if you think about the public cloud, we have cloud service provider logs. We have API gateway log. So all of this we need to take care in our architecture and design when we are about to go in our logging architecture. Okay. But how this all is built up? Let's talk microservices for log handling, which is very important and plays a key role in architecture of the logging design. Okay. So we use four microservices. One is log collector microservices, which is used to collect the logs. Then we use log parser, which is used to normalize the logs into a particular defined schema. Then we use a log enrichment microservices, which is used to add some context. And lastly, we use the log forwarding uh, microservices, which is used to put the logs or forward the logs into a same platform. Okay. Now you can build your solution design with all of these four elements. If you can use FluentD, Logstash, Syslog agents, or an integrated solution like Elkstack. Okay. Uh, and if you are on a public cloud, you can also use CloudWatch to pick the logs and forward to your same platform. It is your choice, whatever you want to use, but it is important to uh, design the solution appropriately for scalability and quick adaptation. Okay. Now everything feeds into our scene. Now you'll be thinking about some of the use cases. Okay. So let's uh, talk about some of the use cases. The first use case I want to talk about is the IOT device compromise. Imagine IOT device compromise. A smart city has thousands of 5G connected sensors. Okay, our logging system notices multiple sensors trying to connect to an unknown server. The log parser then microservice normalizes these diverse IoT logs, allowing our C platform to correlate events and identify a large scale IoT compromise attempt. The second use case is edge computing security. So imagine a factory uses 5G enabled edge computing for real time machine control. Our log collector microservices at the edge detects a series of failed admin logging attempts across multiple edge nodes. The enrichment service adds geolocation data, revealing these attempts are coming from outside the country. This triggers an immediate alert for a potential targeted attack on a factory's infrastructure. Okay, now you have understood the use cases. Let's think about some of the logging requirements as in some of the use cases which we have to define upfront in our logging architecture. We need to think about authentication attempts, configuration changes, data access patterns, traffic anomalies and encryption failures. Remember, it's not just about collection. We need real time analysis and smart data management. And here are the three key best practices. First, use adaptive logging, increase detail during suspicious activity. Second, implement data retention policies. Not all logs are created equal. 
you know, and you can save significant amount if you can plan this thoroughly. Thirdly, automate responses. Use playbooks for common scenarios like failure logging attempts, increasing number of times the people are logging in and what actions you need to take on. So you need to define those playbooks for common scenarios. Okay. Our goal, remember, is to turn data into actionable intelligence that protects our 5G network. The microservices architecture help us to do this efficiently, efficiently and at scale. Now you have understood logging. That's our quick dive into 5G security logging and monitoring with real world use cases. Okay, what challenges you are facing in your 5G security efforts? Are you using microservices in your uh, logging pipeline or not? Please feel free to drop a comment below. If you found this helpful, please feel free to like and subscribe for more telecom security content. Until next time, stay secure. Thank you.